Hello everybody and welcome back to Jab Lost His Keys! Yes, and this is the big one. We are headed for Tylo. Yeah, those of you familiar with Jules Moons, Tylo is probably one of the most difficult planetoids to get on and back off from. So basically you need a craft that is capable of spending two and a half thousand meters per second of delta V landing and also getting back up into orbit. But before we can do that, of course, we have to get there. We already have our encounter over here and Periaps is looking okay. So here we are. Hi, Tylo. I'm not scared. No way. <laughs> First things first, we have to plan our circulation, or well, at least capture burn. And then of course, while we're at it, let's get some science high up over Tylo. So there we go, we're collecting our samples. And after we've done that, per usual, we have a scientist grab them and get them back to the lab. So let's play a little game, let's try to guess how much science points I will have after I get back to Kerbin. I'm not really sure how much I got after my Journey to Jewel series where I used the Jewelishka. So yeah, feel free to make a guess in the comments. And while we are doing our capture burn, we are already close to Tylo so we can get some more science. So in order to get the lander uh, really safely down to the surface, I have to keep a quite close periaps about, of about 41,000 meters above the surface. And here we go, we have decoupled the Tylo lander jacket construction. You can see here the Yajiri plane inside of that Tylo jacket. And basically this thing is a descent stage. This will take me almost to the surface, then I have to really time the correct moment to decouple it and then land with the single engine that is left on the plane. Okay, so here we, you see me firing the engines and getting closer to the surface of that big grey dirty bowl of the moon and now decoupling yes okay so we're closing in boom that was the descent stage okay, closing in on the surface looking good and what that was too early oh ah you know what comes next again yeah, of course, there is the magic of quick saving, and thanks to that, we managed to land safely. A little bit of wobbling, but it's fine, we are stable now. So, time to collect some science samples from the surface of Tylo this time. Takes a while to click all of those. I really should have made an action group that just activates all science equipment. Okay. And of course, since Tylo has uh, such high gravity, we're going to need those ladders to get back up to the cockpit. Well, no worries getting down there. Okay, Giala Kerman is now collecting an EVA sample and surface sample from Tylo, and also, of course, planting a flag. So just write some random stuff in there, and after we've done that, let's get back up there to the Naginata. Now this is a nice scenery with Jewel rising on the east. So we're waiting for the Naginata to be in range so that we can really have full control over the Yajiri since Giala is a scientist and does not know how to fly things. Or at least not as well as her pilot brethren. You can see maybe in the top corner that my Delta V readout is quickly declining and yeah I came quite short but fortunately for some reason the fuel flow was messed up and I still had an entire tank of fuel left so that's probably the explanation why my uh, lathe return was so hard 
and I ran out of fuel. Well, I didn't run out of fuel, I didn't notice that there was some fuel left in the front tank. Now that we have found some more fuel inside the plane, we can finish our return burn. And after circularizing, we are now in a safe and stable orbit above Tylo's surface. Which is nice. So basically the Yajiri plane, without the engine cells for lathe, has about 2800 meters per second of delta V, something like that. So it should be way enough to get back from Tylo and also use the last a bit to land on it. Okay, now time to get our encounter with the Naginata. There we go, this is quite close. Nice! And once we're in range, of course, we have to match our velocities, so we are in the same orbit and can dock with our mothership. While Lathe and Val are firmly waiting in the background. Well, since we've already visited Lathe and Tylo, there's only three moons left. Val, Bob and Paul. But first we have to dock this thing again. But this is looking good and since the Tylo jacket is now spent, there is much more room to get this thing inside the Naginata's docking bay. So of course we need some uh, replenishment of our monopropellant for the next maneuver that we're going to make. And of course, take those science samples. <laughs> Look at them! Scroll in the left hand corner. Wow, that's a lot of science. As I mentioned before, try to guess how much. Okay, and of course we dump those in the science lab. And then, well, there's only two more things left to do. Firstly, we have to refuel the Naginata for its next mission, which we're doing here. And then, of course, we have to plan our maneuvers to get to Val. And let's see what happens in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.